Today we are going to perform the impact test on different metals. Name of the experiment is uh, impact test on different metals. The aim of the experiment is find out the impact strength of the different metals. First we are going to discuss uh, apparatus used for the experiment. One is the impact testing machine. Uh, second one that is the vernier steel scale third one that is the different metals we are going to use that is the mild steel then brass and aluminium today we are going to discuss uh, theory theory behind the impact test first it is the mechanical property of the material that is the impact test uh, impact strength or toughness of the material amount of shock energy absorbed by the specimen before its fracture is known as impact uh, strength or toughness of the material generally it is a measure in terms of newton meter or joule generally there are two different tests belongs to impact uh, test on metals first one that is the isode impact test and second one that is the charpy impact test now we are going to discuss the isode impact test this is the mild steel specimen then this is the brass specimen and third one that is the aluminum specimen generally the size of the specimen is 10 mm by 10 mm in cross section and the length is 75 mm the groove is provided at a distance of 28 meter, uh, 28 mm from the any one edge the depth of the penetration of notch is 2 mm generally there are uh, two different uh, notches are used either it is a u notch or v notch now how to hold the specimen in case of impact testing machine generally it is uh, kept in a vertical direction or in cantilever projection and the hammer is striking uh, on the direction of uh, towards the direction of notch further part will be discussed by our lab assistant now we are performing uh, impact test on various metals in isod impact test so the arrangement is now available for isod impact test where the angle of fall of the hammer is 87 degree this inner scale is used for this test where maximum energy stored by the hammer is 168 joules so we will now fix the specimen so first we will take a free fall of the hammer to check whether any frictional loss is there we will just release this hammer so there is a difference of two divisions two joules for iso test so so we will fix this specimen like this in cantilever position a pointer is now set to maximum reading that is 168 joules and now we will release the hammer the reading is 86 joules you can see the specimen the specimen is bent this is mild steel specimen and the reading is 86 joules in similar pattern we will take a test on brass specimen and aluminum specimen now i have fixed brass specimen uh, i will bring this pointer to maximum position that is 168 joules and release this hammer so reading is now 14 joules and you can see the failure of this specimen it is totally broken now we will take a test on aluminum specimen 
आई एम नाउ फिक्सिंग इट सो आई विल ब्रिंग दिस पॉइंटर टू मैक्सिमम पोजिशन दैट इज वन सिक्सटी एट जूल्स एंड रिलीज द हैमर नाउ द रीडिंग इज फोर्टी फोर जूल्स एंड यू कैन सी द स्पेसिमन इट इज बेन नॉट ब्रोकन द रीडिंग इज फोर्टी फोर जूल्स these are the results of the isod impact test these are the failure patterns of the different metals first one mild steel then brass and third one that is aluminum the bending takes place in mild steel as well as the aluminum specimen and the brittle failure takes place in the brass material as per the results among these three the more impact strength value we are getting in mild steel specimen the lower value of impact strength in brass specimen and the average value we are getting in case of aluminum metal i hope you understood the impact test on different metals thank you